The Candy Island is a lie. Do not be swayed by all of the sweets in the giant crocodile wearing leader hosen. Whole Cake Island is a whole cake of hell. This week's chapter of One Piece was deliciously sweet. It was a lot of fun getting to see Luffy, Chopper, Nami, and Carrot explore Whole Cake Island. Why did I forget Pedro and Brooke? Well, that's because they're going on their very own mission in the Submerge 3, which is that kick-ass submarine in the shape of a shark. It looks like they're going to be doing their own thing, and we'll get back to them eventually. But the rest of this chapter follows Luffy and his friends as they arrive on Whole Cake Island and are completely enamored by all of the sweets. They're all over the place. Hardened meringue, candy cane trees, freaking rivers made out of melon juice. This is just an amazing island to be at and you can imagine Luffy with his just never-ending hunger is in complete bliss at the moment. And then you have the character of Nami who knows that all of this is just wrong, there's some sort of trick going on, and they're being lured into something bad. Possibly a trap, and that's made very apparent in this week's chapter, as when they arrive on the island, Luffy keeps telling them that he keeps seeing Sanji all over the place. And it's true! This random guy who looks just like Sanji just keeps randomly appearing in the middle of this giant candy forest, hanging out on trees, hanging out in the distance, and then suddenly... Luffy runs into another clone of himself, which is like an actual mirror of his true self. You can tell who the real one is by where his actual scar is, and it's made very clear that there is someone in this forest who has the ability to create clones of people, or there's some sort of creature in this forest which is able to sort of mess with your mind a little bit because this forest that they're going to is actually not normal and a lot of this is probably like a big illusion because by the end of the chapter the trees start coming to life, everything has a face on it, and frankly it's just nightmare inducing. I don't know what it is about trees with faces, maybe it's the Wizard of Oz that completely freaked me out when I was a kid, but I always think those things look damn horrifying. And that doesn't even cap off the things we see on the weird shit -a meter in this week's episode of One Piece. We get not only this giant talking crocodile who eats a giant donut bridge who just sort of walks away, but we also get this one huge giant who is buried underground, and he likes to be buried and he wants some apple juice. Saying all of this out loud just makes me realize how weird the One Piece series is. And you know what? I'm surprised it took this long to get an episode where Luffy ran into a clone of himself. Like a real, legitimate clone who looked exactly like himself. And hopefully this is going to lead to a pretty interesting action scene as they do start to fight each other in this chapter, throwing their gumu gumu punches and gatling attacks. I imagine it would be really cool to see a Luffy versus Luffy battle. Although it's pretty clear that this is all some sort of trick and the island is sort of messing with their heads as they get closer in. Will Luffy and his friends survive the mysterious Candy Island? Well, we're going to have to wait and find out. And we're going to have to wait a little longer than usual because One Piece is going on break again. That's just how the series works. So, what's the rundown on this week's chapter of One Piece? Man, this chapter just makes me want to go out and get some candy right now. Just the way they describe the deliciousness of all the food, the overall look of the island, is just so inviting. And that's what makes the final panel so shocking when you get to see that this is all some sort of trick, that the island is sort of messing with their heads and sort of luring them into danger. Luffy, Chopper, and Carrot are really funny in this chapter because they're all of the same mindset that everything looks delicious. Speaking of Carrot, it just so happens that there's apparently this other rabbit warrior who lives on the island who attacks them. He looks a little more like a traditional rabbit and he seems to be jousting. It's really damn strange. What I loved about this scene, though, is how Nami is so shocked by seeing that and the talking crocodile, even though she actually hangs out with a talking deer and, of course, carrot all the damn time. But if I had to choose a favorite part from this chapter, it would without a doubt have to be that giant crocodile who ate the donut bridge wearing lederhosen. I imagine him having a really goofy German accent, and I just think that's awesome. As for what these weird clones of Luffy and Sanji are, eh, I, I really have no idea at this point. It's probably going to be some crazy warrior on the island who has the devil fruit ability to create clones of people, but we're just going to have to wait and see. All I know is I can't wait to learn a little bit more about this island and can't wait to go on another big adventure through all of the deliciousness. What I will say is this was a fun chapter, which was really funny, very high on the comedy, which also had a little bit of action at the very end, so this was a really solid chapter of One Piece. So I'm going to give this one right here a 4 out of 5. Check it out, One Piece fans!
you might see something you like. But before you guys leave today, make sure to tell me what you thought about this week's chapter of One Piece. What's the deal with the clones of Luffy and Sanji? How are they going to combat this evil forest? And what else do you want to see from the rest of this brand new arc? Please tell me in the comment section below. You guys are kick-ass! Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like it, share it with your friends, and comment on the video. If you'd like to, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to see all of our latest anime and manga reviews, our weekly podcast show. It's all pretty cool stuff. Thank you again for watching, and as always, stay dandy, baby!